Charterman, Charterman, Brian. Charterman, 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 Brian. Greeting comics, Twitter, hella sick, hella whacking it. Take a bad hit, take a bad hit. Start a mess. Shoveling the bull butt. Hey, what's up, you guys? Charterman's Prime here doing another Transformers figure review on the Transformers Classics Dead End figure. That's not what it's called. This is a fans project, Causality CA12 Last Chance. Gotta give a huge thank you to Mr. John 3.0 for making this one of my Christmas presents. Thank you so much, man. An awesome figure. Check out his YouTube channel. You are missing out if you are not subscribed. And also check out HugeNerd.net. Links in the description below. And if you're trying to pick up this figure yourself, you can find it at Big Bad Toy Store. Big, big, big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Very cool looking figure. This is the last car of the four Stunticons that we're getting, or not Stunticons, whatever. I have Motormaster in the mail. He should be arriving later this week, and then I'll be able to complete my Menasaur, which is one of my favorite Transformer combiners of all time. Great looking figure. I think this is one of the better ones out of the four. Here's a look at the packaging, which looks pretty cool. You have this drawing of Dead End over here, Causality, Crossfire. Get a drawing of the figure on the side. Same thing with the top over here. And then we have some pretty cool poses. He's got this Iron Man pose, and he's got a running pose. There he is in a car. He can store the gun in the back. He comes with a trading card over here. You can see in the picture he's grabbing the gun out of his but, and then we have some dialogue, and this will go right back to the box of which it came, along with the instruction booklet, which is a pretty decent instruction booklet. I think the directions are okay. You know, it shows you how to transform him into car mode, and it shows you how to transform him from car to robot mode. On the directions of not one of these cars have they showed us how to transform them into the Menasaur limb. So here's a close look at Last Chances, or Dead End's gun over here, and it does split in two like all the other car's weapons do. They split in two and they store underneath the car which is great and you can store it in his back which is pretty cool so you can see the clip sticking right over here and we get this hole in the gun which totally makes sense right push it right into that tab and there it goes he can store the gun on his back which looks pretty cool doesn't really stick out too much and the blaster fits into each of the hands pretty well I really like the gold paint applications that they have on his face I really like the sculpt of it as well very very cool it does look like he has blue eyes though yeah he's got like purple eyes and we have a couple tones of gray over here you can see we have a light gray on these hinges we have more of a gunmetalish kind of gray over here and then a solid gray over here from what I know it seems like a pretty strong plastic aside from what happened with to, to my drag strip you know what I mean but this looks pretty good I guess when you see the marbleization in it that's a bad sign but it seems to hold up pretty well for me I don't really have any complaints with the quality issues of the plastic but you know I think it looks pretty cool the transformation on this guy isn't too complicated so I'm not really afraid of anything breaking I like all the detail right here on the arms this is pretty cool the fist came out pretty well and I do like how the legs look. I don't really like how these feet look though. I feel like these are kind of fake feet. You know what I mean? It just looks too much like the part of the car. It doesn't really look enough like a foot to me, but oh well. We get some hollowness over here in the back, which isn't a big deal. The back of the figure looks alright. Not very empty or anything. A pretty solid looking figure. I like it. Articulation on him isn't too bad either. The head moves side to side, and it does move up and down just a little bit, so you do get some movement over here. Yeah! And we even get some head pivot too. Shoulders move outward over here. He does kind of have like a a shoulder joint that moves up and down due to the transformation. He also has a ball joint over here that moves outward, rotates forward, then you can move these around as you wish. He has a bicep swivel right over here, double jointed elbow due to the transformation. He has a wrist swivel. He does have a waist swivel. I wanted this piece to tab in a little better. This doesn't tab in too well, I think, but at the same time, you don't really want it to, so you can move the waist joint. So I guess that works out. He has really good hip joints, so he can do the splits. He can kick forward that much like that, and his legs bend all the way in right there at the knee and then he does have some movement over here at the foot but you can still move it around a lot it does have an ankle pivot and it moves all around on this ball joint over here so at least we have that so to the top of his head last chance stands at about five inches tall little and here he is next to the not drag strip or the fans project downforce and you can see that dead end is a bit taller he is the tallest one out of the four figures and here's Dead End compared to two other third party figures. We have the Masterminds Creations Headstrong, which will be coming soon. I'm so stoked. Thank you, Mr. Joe Capone. And we have the TFC Hercules Scavenger figure. So this guy is quite puny compared to these other two. And here he is compared to Transformers Classics Optimus Prime and Trax. So even for the Classics line, he is a little on the short side. And here's Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider Man. So as I had mentioned before, the transformation on this guy is not too complicated. But regardless, I will need Bumblebee's help. Will you take us away, Bumblebee? 
So here's the alt mode, and I think it looks great. I really like the color scheme for Dead End. I always thought it was really, really cool. I have to say, this is my second favorite figure right after Breakdown. I really like this one out of the four, I mean. Look at that. We have nice tail lights painted over here. We have this gunmetal grid going down on the back. And there's not much kibble at all. You know, it doesn't really stick underneath too much. I really like how the guns are stored underneath over here again. You know, it's like that on all four of the cars. But pretty nice. You know, the transformation gets a little complicated around this area, but not too bad at all. You know, it's not too hard. I like the silver on the hubcaps over here. They have this black, dark gray right here for the windows, which doesn't bother me. I think that looks pretty cool. I always prefer clear, translucent blue plastic, but you know, it still looks pretty nice. So I like this. I think it's very sleek. I like the look. The wheels on this figure roll very nice too. You can get them moving around all over the place and I don't feel like I have any hovering wheels or anything like that. So all four wheels are touching the ground and it works out very well. Pretty cool. This vehicle mode is just over four inches long and we're looking just under two inches wide. And here's last chance compared to our reveal, the Shield Tracks figure, aka Classics, whatever. And you can see, yeah, it's way smaller than this Classics figure. Very small. And here's all four Stunticons looking incredible, man. Ah, oh, Jesus, so cool. I always thought the Stunticons were so badass. I do wish these figures were just a little bit bigger, but that is really my only gripe. I really like these things a lot. I'm really happy with them. I think they look great. And I'm very, very excited to build Menasaur. I cannot wait until Motor Master arrives. Stay tuned for that. That will be coming very, very soon. I hope you guys like my review. Please hit the like button if you did. Leave a comment and subscribe. And be sure to check out HugeNerd.net and subscribe to John 3.0. Thank you so much. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Big fan of this foot, but.